good morning dear friends my brothers and sisters and everyone who listens to this daily devotion on tuesday thursday and saturday from life spring assembly i am pastor mathai god bless each one of you and welcome to this morning meditation this is a brand new day and before we face this day's challenges and the responsibilities let us give a few minutes to listen to the voice of god and blessed we will be if we hear his word first and then go about our responsibilities today's meditation has to do with our salvation seven aspects of salvation and i would like to mention seven aspects of this salvation from the text found in hebrews chapter 2 verse 3 it says here how will we escape if we neglect such a great salvation it was first spoken by the lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him here is a verse that talks about the fact that the salvation we receive from the lord jesus christ is so great it is great to be cause from whom it the salvation has come to us and it is a great salvation because of what price jesus paid to at, obtain our salvation thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus that's all we can say no angel or any human being or any other uh, beast or goats or oxen could ever uh, sh- uh, ever ever attain this salvation for us because a sinless blood had to be shed for our redemption for our salvation for our forgiveness and who has it no created beings even angels are created beings no man because man's blood is poisoned by sin and that's how the entire humanity comes under this category of sinners we all needed salvation from the lord who alone could come down and become a man and died by shedding his blood on the cross and it is through that blood he obtained for us our forgiveness our redemption thus our salvation now what i want to speak to you is the seven aspects of this great salvation number 1 salvation is called the horn of salvation i will mention a few references for all these points please take down these references and go through these verses and connect each aspect with the scripture passage horn of salvation second psalm 22 verse 3 and also the gospel according to st luke chapter 1 verse 69 and secondly rock of salvation psalm number 95 verse 1 rock of salvation and that means the stability of our salvation second samuel 22 47 Hallelujah. And thirdly, tower of salvation. In other words, that means security of our salvation. 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 51. Security of our salvation. Number 4. Helmet of our salvation. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 8. and this helmet shows preservation of our salvation amen and fifthly 
cup of salvation psalm 116 verse 13 and that means the joy of our salvation when we talk about cup it talks about the drinks and it talks about an overflowing experience of the joy of salvation and in number 6 wells of salvation isaiah 1233 and this well of salvation speaks about refreshment in our salvation our salvation does not get stale at all each day it is like a springs new springs with the fresh water springing up from within us and so it is a there is a refreshment in our salvation it refreshes us each day and so we can look forward to a new day with a new refreshing experience of our salvation that is wells of salvation and uh, lastly uh, and seventhly extend of our salvation and that shows the completeness of our salvation as the book of hebrew self says our lord jesus christ the savior is able to save us completely and completely means and i pray that you will understand your salvation is so great because of these seven aspects and let us not uh, take our salvation so lightly and bless the lord each day and thank god for the salvation that brought to us forgiveness and the wholeness of life and uh, uh, eternal life there is a hope that we can uh, cherish uh, that is a living hope of the return of the lord jesus christ and those who are saved and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ they shall be changed and transformed and be caught up to be with the Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever and so let us not today we don't have to worry each day oh what shall i do for my salvation today no it is all done there is a refreshment that is up to us to learn to enjoy the refreshing aspect of salvation and the joy of our salvation and the preservation of our salvation and the security of our salvation and the stability of our salvation and the power of our salvation these are the seven aspect of our salvation and let me remind you once again for what it all stands for the power of salvation is stands for that is expressed in the bible the horn of salvation and then is the rock of salvation that shows the stability of our salvation and then the tower of our salvation that shows the security of our salvation then the helmet of our salvation and those that shows preservation of our salvation and then the cup of our salvation and that means the joy of our salvation and the wells of our salvation that shows the refreshment in our salvation and then lastly the extent of our salvation that means the completeness of our salvation what a joy and you know jesus christ also is called the rock the lord jesus christ is the rock of ages and uh, in the bible it is mentioned like this rock of israel genesis 14:924 he is the rock deuteronomy 32 verse 4 and psalm 18 verse 2 and then he is the rock again second psalm 22 verse 2 and psalm 19 verse 14 and then he set my feet on a rock psalm 40 verse 2 and then lead me to the rock that is higher than i that is a prayer the psalmist 
Psalm 61 verse 2 He is the rock eternal 1 Samuel chapter 26 verse 4 My friends Jesus is the rock Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 is our spiritual rock 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 see you consider all these scripture verses and think and realize how great indeed is the salvation we receive from the Lord Jesus Christ the only savior of the world and as you meditate on this and then read these verses today i pray that you will be encouraged and strengthened and filled with the joy of his salvation and receive the power of the holy spirit to live your salvation god bless you this is a great day and he is with you amen father god we thank you for the holy spirit who makes all these things real to us and thank you lord it is not just stories or imaginations but these are real truth concerning our savior and the salvation that has come from him may each one of us be enabled by the holy spirit to live our salvation so that we will be living witnesses for your glory in jesus name amen god bless you my friends amen